What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're gonna go over a few reasons as to why I think NEO is still a buy and why I think they're still going to continue to be a buy through the end of the year. But before we actually jump into the video, if you guys are new here, my name is Evan and I make videos showing you guys different ways of making money in the stock market. So if that interests you guys, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload. Also, if you guys wouldn't mind going down and hitting the like button, I would really appreciate it and it lets me know that you guys enjoy these video updates every day. So again, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting the like button, I would really appreciate it. But now to show you guys where NEO is trading at right now, especially if you haven't been paying attention to NEO's chart, they're actually trading pretty even on the day and they're pretty even on the week as well. And we're going to take a look at that in a second here. But as of today, you can see they dipped down a couple percent and now they're leveling off and they're trading right around $60 and they keep dipping right below 60 and then pulling right back up to 60 because that's a pretty strong resistance point or it has been historically a couple times. And not only that, but it's a mental resistance point and it's a good support line if NEO does get above it. And so that's where NEO's trading today and they're trading right around 60 and they can't seem to get above 60 and stay above it. But on the one week, this is where you can see better on how NEO has been moving and they really aren't up or down on the one week chart either. Now yesterday they did have a run up to almost $64 and they were up about 7% at that point. But now they've pulled back since then and they're pretty even on the week with really not a lot of movement. But now for a few reasons as to why I think NEO is still a buy in 2021, despite all the gains that they had through 2020 and all this new investor interest. But the first reason is that NEO is not alone in this space and there's a lot of others that are really starting to grow alongside NEO. Now when there's all these smaller companies popping up left and right, and I don't mean that they're popping up in the last couple months or the last year, but these other smaller companies, for example, Xpeng and Li Auto, and I know there's a bunch of other electric vehicle stocks and companies over in China, but the fact that there's competition should give you a positive outlook because then you know that this is something that's future-proof because these other companies would have gone bankrupt by now or they wouldn't be last as long as they have if there wasn't enough interest in the electric vehicle space. Now, of course, we know that Tesla gained a lot of traction in the last year, and I'm not sure if a lot of people know, but it might surprise some people that shares of NEO actually significantly outperformed those of Tesla in the past year. Now, again, because Tesla is the top auto manufacturer in the world, and they have the biggest market cap out of any car company around the world, these smaller companies like NEO, Xpeng, and Li Auto, they can really follow Tesla, and that's what they were doing in the last year. And now we've seen NEO have some growth of their own, and they kind of piggybacked off Tesla in the beginning, and now they're seeing a lot of growth separate from Tesla, which is a good thing to see from NEO because they are relatively new. Now they've been around for about a handful of years, and that's pretty small when you look at the broad scale of things and compare them to other auto manufacturers around the world. Now, another reason why NEO could be a buy through the end of 2021 and beyond is because all this investor interest and enthusiasm around NEO and the electric vehicle space. I think it's pretty obvious that Tesla was on the radar of a lot of people. And once people started seeing Tesla go up, this led to a lot of speculative investors searching for the next Tesla. And I think a lot of people found that in NEO and they looked at what NEO's business model was and what NEO is trying to do. And of course, the rest was history from there. And we've seen NEO shoot up drastically in the last few months alone. And it seems like NEO is almost like a no fail business, like I've mentioned before, because they do have the backing of the Chinese government. And this did really help accelerate their growth in the EV industry early on. And then their strong sales and investor interest really piled on. And that's what led NEO to these sky high prices that they're trading at right now. And I don't mean to say sky high as in a negative thing. Now, I do think many people would agree that NEO is pretty overvalued and they're trading for about 40 times their sales. And we're also going to touch on that a little later. But just because NEO is trading at so many times their sales doesn't mean that they're necessarily overvalued. Like I've mentioned before, NEO is going to trade for what investors think they're worth. Now, a lot of their share price is taking into account future growth and where the company is going to be in the next five to 10 years. So we could see them stagnate for a while, but with the way NEO has been moving, especially in the last few months, I don't think that's really going to happen. 
Now that could happen to any company and they could stagnate or fall down. But with the way we've seen NEO and all this increasing investor interest, even in the last couple of months, and with all these big catalysts in the future, I think at least in 2021, we're probably going to see NEO continue going up. And I don't think there's going to be too drastic of pullbacks. Now, again, I could be wrong because I'm not a financial advisor and even financial advisors aren't right most of the time. But this does lead me into my next point on why NEO could be a good buy in 2021. And this is because they've been growing so quickly. With all this investor interest, like we mentioned previously, NEO's been able to increase their business model and they've really been able to accelerate production. And that wouldn't have been possible without all this investor interest. And there probably wouldn't have been as much of a reason to increase delivery numbers and continue pushing their business model if there wasn't all this investor interest and all this interest around new customers and new people wanting to buy NEO vehicles. Now, in terms of numbers, when we look at their deliveries, deliveries increased by 113% in 2020 compared to 2019. And then 2020 also represented almost 60% of NEO's cumulative vehicle deliveries. And I think we can all agree that NEO is going to continue increasing every month, most likely, and if not every month, then every quarter through the end of this year. And the hope is that NEO is going to deliver between 100 and 150,000 vehicles. And like I've mentioned before, I think it's possible that they deliver over 160000 and that would put them valued around $100 per share if that were to happen. And I've mentioned that in a previous video, and I broke down how I think NEO could get to $100 possibly by the end of the year. But as of right now, they do need to increase their deliveries every month. And if you guys didn't hear recently, NEO offered a zero down payment option for their vehicles. Now, the hope with this is to increase deliveries in January, which I think for most auto manufacturers is the lowest month in terms of deliveries. And then there's also the Chinese New Year at some point in mid-February. And that could be one of the reasons why NEO's offering this zero down payment option and it's to increase deliveries around their new year because a lot of people do actually buy vehicles around that time of year. Now we know NEO also unveiled the ET7 on NEO Day and this vehicle is going to come equipped with their larger 150 kilowatt hour battery pack and that's also going to give it a range of about 620 miles or 1,000 kilometers. And for comparison, this is further than the Tesla Model S maximum range of 402 miles as well as the Lucid Motors air sedan range of 517 miles. So with this 600 mile range, not only does that put NEO ahead of a lot of these other EV companies, but that could be the farthest range vehicle out of any vehicles, gas powered or electric. And so that is kind of another reason to buy NEO because they have these advancing technologies. Now it's not one of my main reasons, but it's definitely something to consider because NEO has these advancing technologies and they're not progressing slowly. They're advancing all these technologies like their NEO pilot and their battery packs. And pretty soon they could catch up to Tesla within the next few years. Now, of course, this is based on how they've been growing recently. And I don't know if that's possible over an extended period of time, but if they were to keep increasing like they have been, they definitely could catch up to Tesla at some point in the next few years. Now, the last major reason why I think NEO is still a buy in 2021 and possibly beyond is because when we look at the total EV sales in China, they actually surpassed 1 million in 2020. Now, you might not think this is a large amount of sales, and it's really not in comparison to where electric vehicles are going to be in the future. And so the reason I mention this is because with 1 million sales in 2020, and if we look at where NEO is at right now and how much they increase, increased in 2020. Well, by the end of 2025, the government aims to expand to 5 million vehicle sales, and that's just electric vehicles. And then that number could reach 10 million by 2030, and might be somewhere around 20 million by the year 2040. So again, when we look at the increase in NEO in just 2020, and then consider the fact that the electric vehicle market over in China is going to 5x in the next five years. Well, if you do some simple math, figuring that the electric vehicle market is going to 5x, all these other companies theoretically should 5x as well. So NEO trading at $60 right now, in the next five years, theoretically, they could be trading for about 300. And then by 2030, they would double again, putting them at about $600 per share. Now, I know this is based on theory and it's not really analytical and it's not really based on the numbers of the company. But my main point is that the electric vehicle market is going to increase substantially, not only in the next five years, but in the next 15 to 20 years as well. And so all these smaller companies, as long as they don't go bankrupt in the next five years or so, and as long as they can become profitable, which we know Neo wants to become profitable and they're 
aiming to become profitable in about the next two years. That's going to really put NEO on track. And once NEO does become profitable, even with all the investor interest right now, they're really going to pick up interest in the next five years or so. So at least in my opinion, even if you don't like NEO specifically, at least investing in some kind of electric vehicle stock, if not right now, then in the near future would not be a bad idea. Because sure, a lot of these electric vehicle stocks are very overvalued when you look at what the company's worth and how many times sales they're trading for. But you're kind of doing yourself a disservice if you don't take this opportunity, especially considering where this market is going to be in the future. Now again, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't tell you to invest in these stocks. And you should do your own research. But the electric vehicle sector is going to be huge in the future. And pretty soon, probably in the next 15 to 20 years, they're going to be the only vehicles on the road. Now, for those of you who made it this far into the video, let me know what your guys' average cost of NEO is down in the comments and how many shares you own. Also on top of that, let me know if you guys are still adding shares to your portfolio and dollar cost averaging in, or are you kind of just bag holding your really low share price? So again, let me know down in the comments because I'm curious how much of NEO you're actually holding. Also, if you guys haven't signed up for Weeble, make sure you guys sign up using the link in the description. And when you sign up and deposit $100, you'll get four free stocks. And this promotion does end soon, so make sure you guys get your free stocks. And lastly, if you guys want to join the Discord server, I recently set up a Discord so you guys can join that and ask questions if you guys are new to investing or you can join just to learn more and chat with like-minded people. So you guys can sign up using the link in the description or you can use a top pinned comment down in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like because it really does help out the channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you back here in the next one. Bye.